<clears throat> Hello, dear students. First of all, wish you happy new year, 2024, and I hope you all are doing your study seriously for all the courses. And I would like to wish you all the best for your upcoming examination also, which is going to start from the next week. So, as a part of uh, the discussion, as well as the request uh, received from many students, even from your faculty members, as a subject coordinator of this uh, IT for Engineers course, uh, I'm going to today discuss about it, that what kind of questions we are expecting in your final ends and question paper, so that you will be able to understand and you will be able to even go through your contents properly. You can practice it properly. Say, as a subject coordinator, uh, I'm Dr. A.B. Pawar, Dean Academics. I would like to give an ideas that which are helpful for your uh, further studies here. And you have been already done. I'm quite confident that you have done your job very well during your entire semester. This course, you know very well, IT for engineers who have been designed to consider the application oriented knowledge from the learners. And you have done your uh, really the wonderful job. I appreciate for the same. And let us start. Yeah, we are having as per our curriculum two units on this particular topic. First is related to the usage of your various word processing tool, presentation tool, and Excel along with the generative AI. And second unit where we focus more on your HTML, CSS, JS, and PHP. Okay. So what kind of questions will be there and uh, how, what kind of answer we're expecting from you that I'm going to discuss with everyone. Let me share just my screen here. So you might be able to see the contents on my screen where it shows that for IT for engineers, the type of questions, what kind of questions you will get in examinations. See, these are just few examples, few questions I'm sharing. It doesn't mean that they are a part of, they will be a part of your question paper. Okay, this kind of I'm saying and you have been already received the notes through that you can do the study, you can do the practice online on your desktop machine, on your computer, laptop or on your mobile as well. Let us see the first question, okay, how can font, bold, justify bullet, header features be used in Microsoft Word document? Write an answer in detail. See, this is a question, you may see it's like a theory but no, you have to take an example and you have to show that, okay, what is the font, what is the how you can apply that bold feature, how you can apply the justification, maybe it is left justification, right or center, then bullets, header, features. Okay. See, then when you are going to write this particular questions answer, what we expect that I'm going to show you here. The next question is based on like your uh, Microsoft Excel. We may, it is a question that is asked like a sub question. Is what is the use of Microsoft Excel? Everyone knows Microsoft Excel is used for data processing. So in addition that it is said here to create excel sheet see when it is said create excel sheet you have to create a simple table okay you, uh, you have to write down a simple table for given example now here it is given for what population of various countries like india china and us see you may no need to have the exact idea suppose i may say that the india's population is 150 crore china may be 130 crore us may be uh, 20 crore okay these are assumptions you have to assume the data and what is written here apply conditional formatting on it and demonstrate use of any formula now you may show the demonstration with respect to any formula whatever the formulas you want to demonstrate you may say okay in a microsoft excel to do the addition of total population we are using sum then you have to write that sum formula uh, on your prepared table and you can show that you have to write down actually okay then what is written conditional format now how to do the conditional formatting you may write down the steps. Okay, we can select the table, then we can go to the con conditional formatting tab, we can apply the various rules there, then you can show simple result which are applied on your created table. That is enough as a part of answer. The next question is like, uh, it is written here, create a PowerPoint presentation for your own profile with the explanation of various features used in it. Now you created your profile, you know what kind of features you are going to use. Now it is a PowerPoint presentation. So right, you are going to create what slides. So you may say, okay, I may create five slides on, and you can put your uh, some, uh, I can say sample data, like you can put your name, you can put your uh, educational details, your technical proficiency, but when you are going to put this detail, you know that to write a name, you may use bold, uh, maybe this particular font type, then to put your educational details, you may insert table. Now see that 
when I'm using font with the bold or with justification, it becomes it one of the feature. Then when I'm saying I'm inserting a photo in my resume, then insertion of an image is one of the feature that you are going to use in PowerPoint. Then you are putting the slide number to your all slides, then it becomes your that kind of feature available over there. Okay, so this way you are going to write. See then when we are going to assess your paper, what we expect in your answer, see that. In that case, it is suppose it is written for font, then if you have written properly the details, you will get one mark, for bold you will get one mark, justification one mark, header feature, how it is, how you can add the header feature. If its details are written, you can get one mark. Then use Microsoft Excel. See that I have been already written. If it is written data processing by you, you will get one mark. If you create a table uh, on your uh, answer sheet as an Excel part, then you will get two marks. Applications, if you have written for that, if you have demonstrated use, you are getting accordingly marks. See that when you create your profile with particular slides, presentation one by one, then you are getting directly five marks there. Okay, this way the questions will come on your unit number one. Similarly, for unit number two, when I'm talking about it, your HTML, CSS, JS, or your PHP, the questions would be like this, in this format. Okay, these are just some sample questions I'm showing in front of you. Like for HTML, we may be asked, you may be asked to apply the HTML source code for the following information. Now the information is given, so it's very easy. See that, again, it is mentioned in this question, okay, for this particular information, you have to show or how you will write it with the different heading tags like h1 to h5 it is mentioned see h1 and h5 so you have to write accordingly in your html code okay then paragraph tag how will apply the paragraph tag for this how will put the two lines break how will uh, put the college image which is stored on particular address so to put that image definitely you should know the image tag then source uh, address then how you can provide the hyperlink for your this one then it is said okay, red color to the text. So you should know how to use the color elements there. See then, this is a question like on HTML. On HTML, you may get a question that some code may be given that you have to rectify. Rectify means you have to correct that and you have to write your answers. Similarly for CSS. Here one simple uh, point is given that you have to write a CSS code for displaying CV with the largest possible header size in which color, red color with right alignment and make the background as blue. So you should know how to write a CSS code. See here it is not mentioned is it an inline css code or outline css code you have to just put uh, your answer sometime it may be very specific see now the next question is given from javascript you want to calculate area of triangle then write the source code see these kind of questions uh, are expected in because these are the practical oriented here no need to write any theory but for your understanding if you want to put some theory content you can write there but main marks you will get in your uh, that particular practical content see just right here it is written for your first question okay how you will apply the header h1 tag h5 tag then paragraph tag it will get one mark in this way the total distribution of marks will be there see then for second question see that if you are using h1 then color background with the help of style attribute you are getting two marks each so like this you are getting six marks then formula if it is written correctly if it is there is proper variable declaration are done in code representation of formula in your JSP code if it is done if you display that output with the proper code you are getting two marks okay so this way the questions are expected in your IT for engineers theory exam paper see these are the questions and their answers expected from you see only this this is the sample it is just reference for you doesn't mean that these questions are a part of that okay so like this you are having no notes with you you please think about the different examples you have gone through different practical examination uh, components in your practical lab try to recall them you are having all that data all those soft copies with you go through them once again again realize that how you have been done practice on your uh, these small soft apps on your mobile for how you can create a document how you can create profile how you can create uh, different things okay practice them so try to practice because that practice will give an idea okay suppose i'm saying i want to insert a photo in my microsoft word then i should know okay, i have to go first where from my uh, home tab to maybe the insert tab and then i have to insert that image so like this i should have clearly known how to or where no, from where i have to select a particular component or feature to use in my those word similarly the question may come from other topic like for a php as well as for your generative ai try to practice in that way and i know that you can do it very well don't uh, just keep the anything blank 
first understand given question properly and whatever you can write whatever you can do possibly please mention in your answer sheet okay so this one was from my end as a part of our it for engineers and once again uh, i'm really happy to see your progress throughout the semester for not only my division for even for other divisions too so please take the advantage of these do your study most important don't take its tension thoroughly go through the given notes you are able to crack your examinations so once again wish you all the best thank you very much for joining this session thank you everyone have a nice day thanks a lot